love it. Dude, where can I learn more? You just gotta click the link. To these two girls were dancing in the parking lot when these parents were dead stopped while walking back to their car, wondering what's going on. And then out of nowhere, their little son runs from the parents to join in with the girls dancing to show them how to do it. Legend. These two girls were dancing in the parking lot when these parents were dead stopped while walking back to their car wondering what's going on. And then out of nowhere, their little son runs from the parents to join in with the girls dancing to show them how to do it. Legend. These two girls were dancing in the parking lot when these parents were dead stopped while walking back to their car wondering what's going on. And then out of nowhere, their little son runs from the parents to join in with the girls dancing to show them how to do it. Legend. If you've been searching for quality online education, you know that compassionate, one-on-one -on -one teachers, personalized coursework, and flexible scheduling are every Not safe. So A weird. random grown he man just touched me in my I'm face. He's trying to talk to me. He was on my ass. He literally speeds up from behind me just to walk slow in front of me. And I'm tall, so I stride when I walk. So he steps on my feet from the front. And he literally turns around and says to me, don't step on my feet, bitch. Y'all, I'm eating a burger, walking, and I stopped eating my burger like, what? Sir, you literally just walked from behind me to come in front of me to tell me don't step. He's telling me how he the bitches like me, don't do it again. And I'm smiling, like I'm eating my burger. I, I didn't think nothing serious. I'm like, why would you want to hit me? That's feminine energy. You're a boy. I'm a, I'm a girl. Like, those are literally the words that I said. And then he goes and literally walks up to the next the guy that was like literally 10 footsteps away. And he's like, yo, bro, this your bitch. And then he says, no, and he comes back to me. He's just like, yeah, call me feminine again. And I'm like, it is kind of feminine that you want to hit me. Demons and he are really real. Punched me in my shit. A random man just I cannot hand make on this. Me. NYC is mouth. really insane. Get out my face. Here's more proof. This is while I'm waiting oh, for the ambulance God. right after the situation. He was here for three minutes. I cannot make this up. I'm about to this in his face. Get the fuck out my face! Move! What is wrong with you, bitch? You see me here, fucking client, trying to offer me beer? What the fuck be wrong with people? I'm literally crying on my lip, bro. I'm literally here waiting for the fucking ambulance with my lip, and this is here trying to talk to me. Y'all are weird. Regardless of me being in the military, they has absolutely nothing to do with what happened last night. You have to realize it was me, a 23 year old against a grown man men do not need to put their hands on women regardless of what tactics what whooping ass, anything because none of that really matters at that point i'm walking in the street and someone caught me off guard there's nothing more for like he had his intentions whatever demons his his entity his intentions was to hurt somebody that night and sadly it was me and I was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. But for you all to come on the internet and try to joke and, and make make this funny, it's not. Literally, like, I could have got hurt more than what I did and probably got killed last night. Nobody was around. After that man left, nobody was around. No cameras, nothing. So it's funny now until it, it happens to somebody that you know. And see, those comments are absolutely despicable, especially since she is a military service woman and we appreciate her. Please throw some love in the chat for her and some support. Show your gratitude because she is serving our country, protecting those like you and me every single day. And I just appreciate her for doing that because as we can see, it's a thankless job. How on earth can you put your hands, first of all, on a woman is horrific. But someone who's literally protecting and serving this country every single day, sickening that this can just consistently happen 
day after day after day, and I'm thankful she made it out alive. Let me give my intros of who she is because I'm getting in height, but her name is Deja. She is a 23-year-old woman who is in the army. She was just minding her business, eating her burger, living her life, and this depraved savage just goes completely rogue on her. And sadly enough, a lot of people were making fun of her. Of course, there were some people that were supporting her, defending her, but it was too many that I feel that were blaming her. And so a lot of people were asking her, she called the police if he went to jail. So someone said, he went to jail, right? Please say it so. And she said, no, they didn't do a thing. And so someone also asked if they arrest him. She said, no. So even that to me is even more enraging because this is a woman that, again, you work for the U.S. military. How in the F can somebody who has such an esteemed position not even be protected. We know why. What's odd to me is if you put hands on a police officer in many states, that's automatically a felony. It doesn't matter. But when it's military, it's almost like, mm, I mean, you might at most get six months, but depending on the severity, it could be a misdemeanor. It could, no, that should have automatically been a felony, a double felony. First of all, there needs to be enhancements on it because she's in the military. She's a woman. She's young. And then for y'all to be like, oh, they didn't teach y'all how to fight in the military. Are you kidding me? She's a woman. I know in this community, you guys don't believe that black women are women. She's 6'2", but still, it doesn't matter how tall you are when it comes to a man. If a man is going to put his hands on you, he is going to be significantly stronger than you. A piece of advice, I'm not a victim blaming, so I want to be clear. But if you are ever in this position yourself, the best thing that you can do is just not engage. They intentionally try to provoke you. They want to start an argument just so that they could feel like they're justified and trying to harm you or whatever. Never, ever, ever engage with them. Don't even make eye contact. Keep pushing. I know I can make it even worse, but try to keep your distance. Keep head down, but cognizant enough to know where they are in relation to you, right? But never, ever, ever like go back and forth with them. Because one thing that she said, and again, I'm in no way saying it's her fault, but she said, you know, that's feminine energy that you want to put hands on me. And I'm here to tell y'all that is not feminine energy. There is nothing feminine about people who have a, a problem with using physical restraint especially against a woman. I can speak for myself. I'm not sure about you guys, but I have always felt the most safe around women. When I take Ubers back before the Porsche Panamera, I always wanted a woman to drive me. When I'm out, I'm not worried about the next woman that's walking beside me. I never fear other women. Now, I know that can be contingent upon class and location and things like that. But in general, I'm not worried about y'all. I feel safer around you guys. So the fact that she said, you know, that's real feminine energy, I get what she means, but no, that's the deranged, you know, toxic masculinist who felt as though that he could try to dominate you and feels like he can get away with it. And the fact that he has not been arrested, I wish that she would have listed his physical description so that we can know what he looks like, put his face out there, because y'all know I'm good for that. Getting a picture, posting on a community tab so that you guys can be aware. But this has to stop. Like These sort of states and cities to me are absolutely dangerous, especially the more liberal ones, unfortunately. Granted, we're not safe really anywhere. But I've noticed in a lot of these democratic states, especially when it comes to like gun laws, make it very difficult for you to be able to obtain one, but they make it easier for these criminals to be able to do X, Y, and Z to you, but they're going to give them a slap on the wrist. Oh, rehabilitation. They need mental help. Yeah. Get the mental help in the prison. You need to arrest them. But the problem is they feel as though these people could be rehabilitated and then reintroduced back into society. No, they cannot. They need to be done away with. And I'm so tired of this consistently happening, especially to us. And another piece of advice, if you can carry, please do. She's in the military, so she has exemptions to where she can definitely do it. And I hope moving forward, this situation will teach her, please carry at all times. I hope that her story will be able to get the attention of news and media because this story definitely needs to go viral so that other women can be warned, but also so that this monster can be captured for what he did. Because this woman is going to have a very difficult time mentally 
for the rest of her life. Like her walking down the street with men is never going to be the same. Her sense of safety has been completely corrupted. And it's like, how many more?